day and welcome to Friday Fun Live. And I do have a special guest with us today. I want you to meet one of your moderators, our moderators extraordinaire. This is Esther Hi, from guys. New Jersey. And we're we were trying to figure out yesterday if we're really related or not. I guess we're <laughs> really not. But um, Esther is um, my new daughter-in-law's sister. Hi, guys. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Esther? Hi. So like Mrs. Falker said, I'm Esther. Um, I'm from China. So um, and tell us a little bit about that. Just just just. So yeah. I was born in China and grew up there for five and a half years. And I was at an orphanage place, so it's a hmm. very interesting experience I had. Yeah. So would you feel comfortable telling how you got to the orphanage? Well, or? so I was left at a um a police station mm. um at the at the doorsteps and um and someone found me and took me to the mm. off at the um at the orphanage, the orphanage yeah. yeah yeah so so and and many of you may know that um Sarah, my daughter-in-law, was also adopted from yep. Calcutta, India. So, yep. and, and this family um, that adopted them uh, already had three kids. So it's just, it's quite a remarkable family. And we're just really blessed to have Esther with us and just having her serve behind the scenes. So, well, let's go ahead and we're going to say hey to some of you all in the chat. And we're going to talk a little bit more with <laughs> Esther and um, talk a little bit about what we just did <laughs> yeah. about 15 minutes ago. Yep. Um, but anyway, it's Friday and I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, just want to say hi to Jake and, and Sherry, um, to Kelly. Um, and thank you. Yes. And thank you for greeting Hannah as well. Hey, Hannah, thank you for serving hi, us. Sweetheart. Didn't know if we were going to have Hannah moderating for us today or not, but she just got back from the doctor with Mrs. Well, with my mother-in-law. So thanks again for serving grandma Barker and, um, Alana is from, yes, I says hey hey Lana and um Brad's mom is in the chat. Uh, give, Brad, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, give Pat a, a uh, pat on the head for yeah. us. Um I understand from my what my children tell me that today is um National Cat Day or something like that, or give your cat a hug day. I, where do they come up with these things? I don't know. But anyway, give your cat a hug um from us, if you would please. And um yeah, she says, uh, good morning from sunny and hot Southwest Hello. Chicago. Mm. Yeah, wow. It's it's um, starting to warm up here. It's in the upper 70s right now. It feels amazing outside. The uh, Susanna says Donuts Day right there. Donut Day. Oh, wow. Yeah. And um, what's what's interesting is the 17-year the cicada or even going stronger. <laughs> My son was here. Um Joseph was visiting us from New Jersey a few days ago, and a couple days ago, two yep. days ago, and he had one of these um, sound meters outside, and he said that the sound of the cicada was at about 67 decibels outside. It's It can be deafening <laughs> when you're outside. Um, I love to New Jersey. So, so that we was have, fine. We have a, a fellow New Jerseyan. Wow, that's great. Yay. Um, and, um, Hello to Oklahoma. So. Wow. Yeah. yeah, she's reading off my phone and I'm reading through some of this, the comments that were posted earlier here. So just to let you all know what's going on. Um, oh, Kelly wants to know, do you want me to send the picture or video of the throw that I'm doing or do you want me to I wait till I'm on. done with it? Um, you can you can do whatever you'd like, Kelly. Um, I, I like still photos in particular. And if you want to send some pictures of something in progress, um, I try to post as many as I can. Uh, and I love to see them personally. I don't post everything, obviously, because I don't want to overwhelm everybody else. But Ooh. but I, I love to see your work. And Diane if you don't mind, first time. what's that? Diane says first time. Oh, being here. Diane. Yep. Well, welcome, Diane. Thank you for being with us. Um, let's see. We I just want to go through some of these real quick here. We have Love to Craft. She says hello. hello craft. And um, Deborah Cook. Um, Alana. Okay, Alana. Jacqueline is in our. Chat from Los Angeles. Um, Wanda Gordon is there. 
Thank you for your blessing. Yes, we're having a good day. Um, oh, oh yes, thank you for the reminder, Brad Small. She said, don't forget to smash that like button if you like it. Like this video. And, and again, if you're new to our channel and have not subscribed, um, please subscribe and you will get, well, and if you hit that little notification bell, you know the, the routine. Um, you'll get notifications when we upload new videos. And I do try to upload um, either project or informational videos on Mondays. Um, going to do the best I can with that this summer. And sure. looking, I am really have, I'll have a lot of fun sure, stuff lined she up. she hates those, those um, bugs flying around. Oh, really? Yeah, she hates those. Yeah, they're interesting. we got a lot of them at our house. <laughs> Outside, thankfully. Yeah. Uh, but but they're pretty they're pretty harmless, which is good. They're not. Oh, Wanda's in here. The back will go show you. Okay. Hey, Wanda. Thanks for joining us, my friend. So faithful. Uh, let's see. We have um, April in the chat. She says it's uh, windy and warm in Spokane, Washington. Wow. And um, Kelly says that her cousin is still around and doing good so far. Um, and and my. My Tammy's mom is doing better. Her mom fell and broke her femur. That's not good. Wow. Which is underneath her hip bone. That's never good. Well, we're glad that they are doing better, Kelly. Thanks for yep. keeping us Hi, Kelly, um, posted. And, you know, <clears throat> we need to continue to pray for them. And um, thank you, Wanda, for your prayers. Wow. Continuing to pray for Kelly's um, friends there. Um, Cynthia. Yeah. Cynthia. Yeah. yeah. Just got home yesterday after a week in the hospital. Oh, my goodness, Cynthia. With a sudden severe illness and unexpected surgery, doing better now, resting at home, and awaiting pathology result reports. Okay, wow. Cynthia, I need to write that down. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to put it right on here. Okay. If I don't do this like right now, it. Oh, Lynn Guy was it? Hi, Lynn Guy, by the way. So. <clears throat> From surgery. Okay, thank you, Cynthia. I just wanted to write that down. Hi, Judith. Uh, Judy, sorry, sorry. Hi, Judy. <laughs> yeah, thank you for doing this. She's so helpful. She's catching the guys, you folks coming in, and I'm trying to catch up from the top there. Hey, Lynn, I see the comment there. Lynn's there. Hey, Swati. It's good to Hi, see Swati. you, my friend, my L.A. friend. Hope you're having a great day out there. And um, Yes, yeah, sorry, I do crochet. Yeah, well, Ubi just got a bunch of, a bunch of new ones in here. Ooh. Uh, I'm not sure why my thing doesn't update faster than it does, but hey, you know, yep. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, we have Suzanne from Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, let's see. Love to craft is greeting Hannah. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. You guys are so kind to each other. We have Sherry and, um, let's see if anybody else that I'm seeing new Suzanne was praying for Cynthia. How kind of her to do that. Yeah. So Boy, sometimes this turns into more of a prayer meeting than it does a crochet yes. meeting, but that's that's okay. I mean, we're whole people. We're not compartmentalized individuals, but we just do one thing all the time. And, you know, we, we all lead full lives and, you know, things affect us. And, and, you know, after coming through COVID, I have no problem talking about any of this with you guys live. Um, we have Deborah. She says, hello from Waterlogged, Louisiana. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Uh, it's kind of funny, Deborah. That reminds me of my mother-in-law called me and she said you need to come down here and bring your car and wash it because we need the rain because every time I wash my car I'm like a rainmaker I promise you I I will go outside and wash my car and it will rain within 12 hours I promise every single time even if my phone app says it's not going to rain for a couple days <laughs> it will rain so if you guys need rain let me know I will come to your house and I will wash my car <laughs> And you'll get the rain you need, okay? Oh, it's kind of funny. Pooja says you're a great teacher. Who? P O O J A. Oh, Pooja. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, sweet. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for your kind words. Um, uh, let's see. We have Denise says good morning. Excited to meet our guest. Yes, it's been great. We've been hanging out, um, hanging out together for the last day or so. Um, Archer Dace is in the chat. Says um, hello from Cleveland. It's humid there. We have Roberta and Carol and is it Sab is it Sabine and um, Tammy um, and see Judy she says happy Friday and Margita from Sweden how wonderful um, and Rod and see Suzanne and um, let's see 
Uh, yeah, our Trinity said National Donut Day was yesterday. Oh, dear, and I missed it. Oh, well, <laughs> I have to make up for that today or sometime. No, actually, I'm <laughs> trying to be careful about that. But, um, yeah, yeah, if I eat too many of this, I won't fit into my crochet <laughs> shirts uh, very long, or at least not from, eh, well, never, from the elbows down. It, yeah. They just will not fit. Um, let's see, we have Angie and Patricia from Oklahoma. Eddie from so from Southern Indiana. And Lee yeah. from New Jersey. I'm finally catching up to the New Jersey yeah. person you read off yeah. earlier. Um, we have Honeydew Melons from Wichita, Wichita Falls, Texas. Um, and Tammy says, I can't see or hear anything. Um, let me see. You might have to unmute something. Um, I don't... I don't... Or have to refresh your screen if yeah, it's not yeah. looking. Yeah, or, or or check something on your computer. There are only about a million things that could, you know, what could go wrong, go wrong, <laughs> go wrong. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, and I, if, if it can go wrong, I'll probably figure out a way to make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just one of those things. Um, we have Diane. She says it's her first time, and I think you pointed that out. We said that earlier, but I'm just catching up to the notes here. Thank you for, for joining us, Diana. Or Diane, sorry. And um, uh, <laughs> Roberta has a comment about she had a notification this morning. Don't eat cicadas if you are allergic to shellfish. Thanks for the warning, Roberta. <laughs> but we are in no danger of eating these things, I promise you. <laughs> yeah. Not that hungry yet. Um, and if I ever do get that hungry, I hope I find some. I'll I'll eat the grass. I think before I eat those things. Ah, um, uh, Archer and Ace says it could be today. I'm diabetic, but donuts are my favorite sweets. I ate a baker's answer. dozen of strawberry jelly ones once. Oh, uh, uh, wow! That that's it sounds like my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Except mine would have been the Krispy Kreme glazed donuts. Uh -huh. Yep. Which, which are absolutely divine. And if you get them with the hot donut sign, hot donuts now sign lit up, um, <laughs> there's not much better in life. <laughs> um, and Blind Stitches Creations is in her chat. She says, what's up? What's up? What's up? We're going to be talking about that in just a second. Um, yeah. And uh, let's see. We have Manila. Shirley, she's saying hey to everybody. Hey, back to you all. Hey, guys. And... Mm -hmm. um, and Carol Wilson from Odessa, Texas. Uh, I don't know how far behind I am here. I'm finally catching up to Wanda's comment. And um, thank you for your welcoming comments, everybody. And, and Denise, she's watching from Salisbury, UK. Wow. All the way Hello from, to UK. All the way across the pond. <laughs> yes. Our English friend, England friends. And uh, we have Pujas from India. Yep. Wow. And, and that's uh, one who said that um, he, you're a great aw. teacher. And then Tammy's from uh, Hamilton, Ontario, up in Canada. Huh? She's our Canadian Canada. neighbor. Hi, fat dancer. And um, we have Rosie from Lincolnshire. Wow. Um, she says it's damp but warm today. And um, just to let you all know, fill you in, um, one of our moderators, when she can, when she's not working, um, Becky is, is actually still in Alaska today, getting ready to fly out. Fly back to Georgia tomorrow. So, um, Carmen says, Hello, Bonnie, dear. Rod says, God bless. Auto correction is not just <laughs> Diane C. Oh, yeah. We all know autocorrect. Yeah. It, it'll change. It, it can do some pretty creative changes to words around here. Ugh. And some of them can be quite interesting. Um, we have Katrina's Crochet World. She says, Finally caught you live. Well, it's great to have you here with us. And Sandra. And uh, Brandy from Society Hill, South Carolina. Wow. Say, you're, you're not too far probably from um, Hannah. I'm not sure where that is actually. I don't know if that's inland, uh, west part of the state, or up, up, up country. You know, funny. My upper name part is of the state. I, I'm not sure. I have to look that up. Uh, I need to find out where that is. I'm curious now. I think Blind Spot meant her name's Marsha. Okay. Um, we have Cameron. Cameron? And um, mm. I hope I'm not missing anybody. Uh, she said, please, Deborah says, please don't come to Louisiana and wash your car. <laughs> <laughs> but the cool thing is I have to stay I inside of crochet. Okay, I won't. Actually, I won't be traveling very <clears throat> anywhere for a while. But, well, actually, that's not true. I'm going to be going to a family reunion next week. So 
that let me let me just go ahead and say this before I forget. I am not sure if we'll be here on Friday next week or not. So if you could just watch uh, the postings and the community posts, I'll update you and let you know. We're actually going to a family reunion in um, Lancaster, South Carolina. So I don't know. Hmm. I'll keep you posted. I may be I may be able to do something uh, on Friday or Saturday. I just don't know yet, but I will let you know. I may have to bump it back to Thursday. That would be kind of weird, but I will let you all know what we do. Or if I have to skip, I have to skip, but I really don't want to do that. Well, anyway, let me go ahead and let's go ahead and talk about some crafts Somebody here. Somebody said that they, because of you, they ordered Suzanne hooks. Oh, the Susan Bates? Yeah. the cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, and just, just to let you all know, I mm -hmm. am not, I am not a paid representative or anything for that company. I just, I just love their hooks. Uh, I love inline hooks. That's the, there are other companies, I guess, that make other inline hooks. And if it's an inline hook, I can use it. Well, I just wanted to Love remind you. Whatever works for you, Bonnie. Yep, that's true. Whatever works, that's right. Um, I just wanted to remind you that this is up on the channel. This is the Diamonds and Cables backpack. And the pattern is not owned by me. It, I actually sold it to Hush Leisure on. Arts years ago. And it's, you can see the back on the cover. It, it's in here with very clearly written instructions. And there are other bags in here. And this is only um, from, it's from Leisure Arts. You can get it at Amazon. It's only $5.99, which I think is really cheap for one, two, three, four, five. It's about seven to eight uh, patterns in here. There's seven that are featured on the cover in the front. I think there's another one that they're not showing. But there are at least seven in here for $5.99. That's, you know, that's what? less than a dollar a pattern, which is pretty good. Um, and well, let me go ahead and just show this to you. And you can line this. I do not have a tutorial she specifically said, that's on gorgeous, that. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Oh, see. thank you. All right. So I wanted to see if Esther, I'm going to close this up and she's going to demonstrate this. You can put stuff in it and then you put it over your shoulders like that. And can you turn around and show how they see? Whoops. And it looks just like that and very comfortable. This is uh, the paracord, which is 100% nylon. Um, and I need to, I need to fix these. I need to fix these ends. I noticed the ends are fraying. And in the video, I do show you how you can take, you know, like something. Okay, you guys sit down, sweetheart. Thank you. Yep. How, how you can um, take a light source, like a match or a candle, or, you know, one of those little torches that you use to light candles. And just lightly heat the ends of, I mean, let me show them what I'm talking about. Take this off. Thank you. You can just kind of lightly heat that and they will melt. And when you do that, you've end all the fraying issues. I, I do talk about that in the other video. I did not talk about that in this video per se. I think I mentioned it, but I didn't actually do it. Um, and I have another backpack. Katrina says, who's the wonderful guest do we have with you? Aww. Well, I'm Esther. She's, Hello, Katrina. Yeah. yeah, Esther's usually behind the computer up in New Jersey. Yeah. Uh, being one of our moderators, just <laughs> making sure that people who have less than a kind attitude in our chat uh, are, are shown, are gracefully shown the back door, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Occasionally, we get bots on here that that put things multiple times, things that are not really edifying for any of us to read or see and so she makes sure that that doesn't happen and hannah my daughter hannah is in south carolina right now nice doing to that see for you. her she's nice to meet you too yeah she's making sure not. that everybody plays nice and um you know it's we're in that kind of a world but you guys are great i mean they really don't have to do too much um what? okay what is your backpack made of thank you hannah um this is made of let me grab grab this behind you I used a different uh, yarn. The yarn that I used for this, I bought at Hobby Lobby. All that information, if you go to this video on the channel. Um, well, welcome, Gina. Gina okay. says this the, the information, I, I show you in the video what I used. And you can see exactly and how much and everything. But you may see, Thank you. this That's is the kind, so. yeah, a lot of my backpacks I use. This, you may have seen these. Um, 
like at Michael's. Yeah, I always see those around. Or at um, Joanne's. Joanne's. That's Joanne's. Too, yeah. I also have these at Walmart. I think Walmart has the best price. But if you can get a coupon, like 30 or 40% off at Michael's, and they have these at Michael's or Joanne's, definitely take this with the coupon. That's the best way to get these. These usually have like over 700 yards. So you can make usually make a backpack and have some left over for some uh let me show you i mean they're also great for you know those are great for just cloth if you want yeah. to make mm -hmm. out yeah. cotton so i have these handy um actually with this i made these round dish cloth which is, which is a an easy beginner I pattern drink. so you can you know whatever's left over you can make these um but this um on my channel, buried in the archives, is this pattern. If you if you go to my search bar and put in big cable backpack, this will come up. And it's it's using the double stitch, which is the single crochet, double crochet, and then the large cable down the back or the front, you know, um, the, the back side is plain. But this has been on my channel for a couple years. I just recently wrote out the written pattern and added it to my Lovecraft store. So if you're interested in that, and again, I'm using the nylon, and I wanted to show you how when you heat the nylon, okay, it does have a little burn look to it, but it, it won't fray. Okay, see that? It keeps this from fraying, and it works, this pack, pack, backpack works the same way. This has a little bit of, you can see a little bit of yellowing here, a little bit of Hi, age. Little, I'm doing good, thank you, Jack. Who is that? Jake? Yeah, Jake. Jake. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for your comment. Yeah. This has a little bit of wear on it, and the reason is um, the last time I went on a trip, I think this was to London, I took this with me, and I wore this everywhere I went. So if I carried extra stuff, I would just load her up, you know, put it, put it in there. And I did not line this one, as you can see, but you can line it. I didn't need to line it because there are no holes in it. You know, the stuff's going to fall through. I can even put change in here and it's not going to leak out. Uh, where some crochet designs it will. But most of the time I do put a lining. So anyway, if you're interested in another possible summer bag backpack, there you go. Um, I've been having that on my list for a long time to, to write out the pattern because it's just been just been kind of kind of busy you know being back home and and making full meals again and and trying to trying to Cynthia trying to... says she received your book oh good Cynthia good book. let me see let me get back into the chat here excellent excellent I am way behind guys as you know on this <laughs> chat but I am gonna try um is that, is that Tina Bailey with a one in the eye? Says hi. I just wanted to say hey to Tina. Hi, Tina. And, as uh, well. Yeah. Well, um, okay, everybody's talking to me. I, I'm not going to go over all the conversation, but I do want to greet people where I can. Dolores, I want to say hey to Dolores hi, if I haven't already. <clears throat> and, um, and Lisa says, I'm currently working on the Aaron Hearts Throw. It's a wonderful pattern, but it's about to be the life of me at, on the counting. <laughs> LOL. I feel like I've crocheted it twice as much frogging I have done. Oh, uh, yeah, that can be that can be the case sometimes um, when you're learning new things, Lisa. But hopefully, you know, you're learning from that. I, I try to encourage people who are discouraged about making mistakes. It's, it's just that, you know, making mistakes is how we learn. It's how I learn, it, it, it plays a big role in how I design too. I mean, designing and doing things, you have to do a lot of ripping and experimenting, but I do hope that works out for you. Jane says that now she can finally put that face to, um, about me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cause she's like, now I can put a face to you now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Esther, Esther um, we, had, we had a good time yesterday. Um, she has never been to Washington, D.C., and unfortunately, a lot of stuff was closed, so we didn't get a chance to go to, let's say, the uh, the American History Museum. Yep. That's what you really wanted yes. to see. But we got to see a lot of monuments and uh, watch a couple planes come right over our head at um, coming into Reagan National. Um, what was your favorite thing yesterday? Probably the Lincoln. The Lincoln. I've always wanted to see that, so. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's pretty pretty amazing, isn't it? Yes. With the uh, in the words. Yes. Um, so. And going by the, I guess we also went by the, the thing that always affects me is is the mo no, the yeah, monuments that too, that and going cool. to the the memorials. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We went to um, went through the Vietnam War Memorial and just seeing the, the artifacts that are left there. Yeah. It just it it just tears me up every time. Um, wanted to show Esther the Korean. War Memorial, but because uh, that's that's something my dad always wanted to see, but uh, didn't didn't make it in time to see the completion of it. But um, he did see pictures of it, but couldn't travel by that point. But that's all under construction. But we did have a great day, did yes. we not? And just thank you, Lynn, for your comment saying so you're saying about I'm gorgeous or something like that. <laughs> I think I saw. She's a sweetheart. Jane says, "Bunny, your top looks marvelous oh. on you." Oh, thank you. Um, th this is, let me go ahead and take, let me take this. This is the, uh, take the poncho off of this. This, this is the same. Ah, I'm trying not to put my, well, I'm knocking everything apart here. Okay. Well, okay. Well, that was less than graceful guys. I'm going to just put that to the back. This is the same top. Um, the, the Bonnie's easy summer top. It's the same top that I'm wearing, I just had different yarn. And this was this cotton yarn, unfortunately is discontinued, but it's that Red Heart, it's a number two, which is a sport weight yarn, and it came in cakes. Um, and this is just some I had left in my stash. Unfortunately, they discontinued the yarn. It's like, why do you discontinue all the good yeah. stuff? But, um, but um, you can use any a number two weight yarn on this and it's it's basically the waddle stitch except for the very end right here i used um front and back post double crochet for the ribbing and um i used slip stitch for the top here i was experimenting with this and i used the knurl you can use whatever so it's really an easy top you do have to be careful that you get the size the um size that you want and, and you can even experiment with that. It's really easy to add extra stitches. Someone said, this is boring as hell. Oh, we don't have to comment. We don't no, have to repeat those. <laughs> um, well, they're free to leave. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah, they, don't, you know what? Yeah. You know what? Don't, when they come up, yeah. when they come up right yeah, away, not, yeah. you don't have to read them because sometimes they come up before Hannah can show them the yep. door. Yep. Okay. If people are bored, bye. <laughs> You're welcome to you're welcome to take the door. We're fine with that. Um, just wanted to catch you up on some other new things. Um, let's see. Registration for the CGOA, which is the Crochet Guild of America classes, are still open. I'm not gonna go into all the details. I will say that all the details are posted below in the video description. And if you want. I wanted to show you this. I, I do have one with the shell stitch. I just wanted to show you this. I finally found this. One of the classes, it's a six hour class. It's learning all of the stitches in this scarf. And um, there are many, and the scarf is symmetrical. So so this side, is it is it symmetrical? For the most part, yeah. So you learn a lot of stitches in the class. Um, it is a six hour class, just to let you know, and um, a, a lot of the, the fee does um, benefit the Crochet Guild of America and keeping the organization kind of afloat through the COVID years, so, um, or through this COVID season, since we haven't been able to meet at a conference in, in yeah. two years. So, well, let me go ahead and... Um, so I'm just coming to saying that Hannah's awesome for doing her job. Oh, yes, Hannah is. Yeah. Hannah's... Hannah's beautiful scarf. Oh, thank you, thank you. I've always shown you the the white one, which was just the plain trim. But I I did find this one. It was it was hiding in a in a safe place. You know how those safe places are in your homes, everybody. Well, let me go ahead and and see what else we got Papa here. Papa says lovely scarf. As well. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Jan. She says I've never been bored watching you. <laughs> thank you, sweetheart. I, I, I know, I, I know 
some people, if, you know, I, I know some of these, there's some videos, you know, on YouTube that are spectacular that have millions of views. And I tell you, they are, they are a cure for insomnia. For me, you know, if I'm not interested in the subject, I totally get it. I, my son loves to watch hours and hours of videos on coffee making. I don't drink coffee, but coffee making and, and hours of videos on how airplanes fly and how to understand the sheets that pilots who fly Boeing 747s have to prepare. We watched one of those last night and I was just like, my head is hurting. Can we watch something else? <laughs> It's like, that's just too much math for me to think about. And that's just the first page, you know, of 15 pages of a flight We have a visitor plan. from, from um, Germany. Germany. Yeah. Excellent. Well, welcome all the way from Germany. That's so cool. Um, uh, Diane said, uh, Rod said, okay, Diane says, put the poncho over the top you are wearing. It will match perfectly. <laughs> I would, Diane. Thank you so much. Um. We actually turn off our air conditioning when we do the broadcast, so it's starting to warm up in here a little bit, but um, but that, that I could. And one thing that's nice, let me go ahead and talk about this a minute. Can I get it off of the... Hold on. Ah. It got caught. It got caught Hi, on the Hi, Millie pin. Price. <clears throat> um, this is also on the channel. People have asked about this. This is the, the cabled, there we go, cabled summer poncho. And what's really kind of fun about this is, is again, one of those things that you wear when you go into, you know, inside air conditioning in the summertime when it's like blazing hot outside, but it feels like Antarctica inside. You know what I'm talking about. And it's just, a, it's just enough. It is holy, uh, lots of holes in it, but it does, it does provide just a little bit of warmth that kind of takes the chill off. And if you don't want to carry it, you know, you can always... You know, if you want to just put it around your neck, I mean, it probably wouldn't look that great, but, um, but I mean, you can, you know, put it around your shoulders if you wanted to, but it, it is a fun thing to wear, um, inside and just, you know, easy to just ball it up and, you know, stick it in your bag when you, when you're done wearing it. I guess it's a little heavier cause it's cotton. Um, but, but anyway, it, it, it is fun. I just love ponchos any time of the year I can, Someone's I can wear Someone's joining them. us from New York. When the um, fall is, I'm not sure what it is. Yeah. Niagara Falls? Yeah. Oh, wow. Hey, Bonnie. Nice name. <laughs> uh, and, um, oh, thank you, Suzanne, for your encouragement. I so appreciate that. Yeah, we do want to keep you guys safe. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there if you're not careful in certain places. And in case any of you all follow me on, on social media, that's one reason why I don't... I, I don't dabble in Twitter very much. Uh, I won't even say any more about it. I mean, I'm I, I'm thankful, I guess, that that we do have freedom and it's a you know it's a decent. Yeah. I guess it's it's okay as far as social media goes, but I don't really spend a lot of time there. I, yeah, that's all I'll say about it because um, I kind of prefer a little more kindness. Um, I do want to tell you all about a video that I am working on. I am. I am going to, I am trying to have a, an interview with, with a very special guest, not as special as, as Esther, <laughs> but um, a very special guest um, who has been a friend of mine in the crochet world for, for a number of years. And I respect her very much. And she's kind of an expert about yarn and, and everything. And I want to put a video together about how to store our yarn. What's the best way to store yarn? So if you have any questions, if you could, please, um, if you can want to post them in the video chat, that's fine, but I'm not going to answer them right now. I just want to let you know that if you have any questions or, or, or concerns or interesting ideas, or um, again, just, just like, what do I do with this? Or is it okay to store it this way? Um, if you want to send it to me, you can send it to me via email, bonniebay at me.com. That's actually probably the best way to send them. You can post them in the in the live chat. Um, but again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna address those right now because 
I want someone who knows a lot more than I do about this to, to I want to talk with her about it. And I want to ask her your questions, if you know what I'm saying. And um, if you are watching this video as a rebroadcast, please post them in the comments below. Just know that I'm not going to answer them, but I'm going to say something like, thank you for your, for your question. And I'm going to, that's going to help me to produce uh, hopefully a helpful video. Bonnie Elsa thought I'm Hannah. She's like, it's nice to see yeah. you and your mom together, Hannah. Yeah. yeah. But this is this is Esther. Um, she's my new daughter, well, relatively new <laughs> daughter in law. Well, my, anyway, they've been have they been oh anyway. Yeah. My daughter in law's sister. So um Hi guys. Yep. <clears throat> so very sweet. We had had a good time. I wanted her, I wanted you all to meet her. <laughs> um and you wanna show show them what you just did about before we about 15 minutes before we went live so i'm learning how to knit after two years of not doing it so guys to get used to it but hopefully it'll turn out to be a scar so yeah <laughs> yep so so what's different about what you're doing now well you, what did you you said you used plastic oh yeah plastic like um yeah not like in a circle, but like an actual needle handle. Mm -hmm. And it, but because it's plastic, it took so long to actually get everything on there. So, yeah. yeah. So this is much easier, and the yarn I will say is very soft. Very soft. So. Yeah, I I was looking for. Thank you, Brad's mom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is your mom there in the chat? No, Brad's mom. Oh, Brad's mom. Okay. Um. Yeah. I I I'm trying. I'm starting her mom. out. Um. Emily as well. Uh -huh. But I'm starting her out. Um, I'm using some super wash wool. That's, I, I was looking for some thicker wool. but Thank you, Deborah. Yeah, well. wool, wool so. tends to have a little more bounce yes. back to it. I don't know if that you've noticed any difference. Mm -hmm. But also, I started her out with... I don't know if you can see the wire. These are... Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, circular needles, which all that means is there's a wire in between them. Um, and if you notice, it's not a real long needle, but you can do a real long piece because they'll just flow onto, you know, the strands will just flow onto this. So you can still do a lot with this. This, this, this wire is really longer than what, what she needs, but it's a set that I had. And, and, and um, how, how does this, how does this feel? In your hand, I, I'm not. I'm not prompting her as to what she's saying. We did not rehearse this. <laughs> no, it's actually much. I will say it's much better that because this wood is much better than the um, plastic ones. But does, did. Doesn't it feel like a crochet hook? Though? Yeah, it does. The plastic one feels like I couldn't really stand yeah. using it, but I made yeah, it. I, yeah, I, I've even mm -hmm. used like bigger. Mm -hmm. Like these long, um, what do you call, Tunisian, Tunisian hooks. crochet hooks yes. that are real long. And just the weight of that, just it just doesn't feel, feel right in my yes. hand. Yeah, but no. something as small as this, it's like a pencil. I mean, it's, um, it's, it's, really, it's really much easier. Uh, and and I'm, like, I'm just mentioning this because I just, just wanted to kind of introduce Esther to a different way of doing it using a continental. And I, again, I'm not pushing this. I know this is a, a crochet time, but um, but if you are ever, ever been interested, even just learning just to kind of understand the process better. I mean, it helps me now. I can look at a pattern and I'm like, I can do that. I know what this is. It, it's been um, demystified for me as it were, just by learning. So if that's something that you've ever wanted to learn, um, I do have some videos on my channel. If you just go to the playlist on my homepage, go to playlist, and then you can look for knitting for crocheters. And there's also just, there are a couple playlists there. And just look at the projects. And just by doing a project, you can learn how to knit and how to purl relatively quickly. I mean, I, I would say give yourself a little bit of time, you know, for the muscle memory to kind of adjust, but everything you do with your non-dominant hand that holds the yarn is the same as in crocheting, which is the main reason why I, I kind of took to it, like, as they say, water, you know, duck to water, um, <laughs> so to speak. Um, 
All right, Hannah, thank you so much for for dealing there. Um, Emily Price says, I'm so happy to be here, guys. Aw. And Deborah says she started Tunisian crochet a few months back, and that's as close to knitting as I'm going to get for now. Um, Deborah, let me let me say something. I I've tried Tunisian crochet too, and I have friends who um, who make some amazing Tunisian designs. But personally, I find that more difficult than knitting. I find knitting much easier. Uh, of course. It's a personal thing. Everybody's a little bit different, but um, if you're put off by Tunisian crochet, I, I would say you actually might like knitting because I, I did try Tunisian. I um, made a headband, um, needed like, uh, I don't know, one of those stretching machines to, to, try to, to try to block it. It was, it was pretty tough and I, I am not anywhere near what I'd call proficient at it. Um, but but I do know the basic stitches, and, and I will say that the joy for me is much more in knitting. Of course, I adore crochet. I mean, I like I like knitting, but crochet is my definitely my first love with the fiber crafts. But um, but um, I, if I just don't want you to be put off if if you're not real a big fan of Tunisian. Now, having said that, there are some amazing designs out there in Tunisian, and some of you love Tunisian, so. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to put anybody off from trying it. Again, everybody's, you know, you, you know, there are many people out there that that can't even dare crochet. Yeah. So you know what I'm talking about. So yeah. I don't, I don't want to, you know, pre-program anybody in any way. Um, we have roses. Is it crawfish? That's interesting. Uh, Ro okay. She says I'm late today. Okay. I uh, I don't know if you've heard Rose what I used for the top, but it was Red Heart. I don't even remember the name of it, but it was Red Heart Cotton. It was a number two. It came in a cake. Um, Esther, could you hand me that yarn right there, the green yarn? This one? Yes, and the label. This is similar. Let me, let me show you. This is similar. I think this is, this is what I used. Um, there was some called It's a Wrap, okay? And each of these has 623 yards. I think what I used for this was a little bit different, but I did make another shirt. And again, this was more discontinued yarn. Look at this colorway. And it's the colorway that changes ever so slightly. And I made another one that I will show you at some point later, um, but I, it's not the main one that I, the main yarn that I used to crochet this other design because I couldn't, because this is discontinued. Okay. But this is, um, let me show you, this is listed as a number two, but it's, it's a, it's a pretty hefty number two. This is hundred percent, I believe hundred percent cotton. Uh, it used to sell for about $10, $9.99 um, US dollars. For, for one of these, but it had 623 yards. Okay, this is an acrylic, I'm sorry, this is an acrylic cotton blend. So this is different yarn than what I used for this. But um, but the It's a Wrap rainbow yarn is just, it's just fabulous. And they, they just have so many, they used to have, I guess they still do have this on the market. It's just that this colorway has been discontinued. Okay, I just got something in from, why does this not update? See, I'm getting updates here. So okay, just, I just got it. Okay, it just came in. Um, Emily says, I'm excited for the cabled summer top. I'm almost done with the summer shawl, with a summer shawl. It's supposed to be one scam, but, and it's too small, and I don't have another. Not sure what I'm going to do yet. Hmm. Hmm, that's too bad. Uh, I hope that wasn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> if it was, let me know. Uh, but it, But anyway... It's easy though to to run out of yarn if if your gauge might be be off a little bit. Um, let's see. Oh, Dolores, she says want to say entrelock Tunisian. Whew, you were, Dolores, you're do you can do entrelock Tunisian crochet. More power to you, girl. Whoa, um, <laughs> I see those, but you know I have to really want something <laughs> to do it. You know I have to really love something if I'm going <laughs> to learn something hard and new. 
I, you guys are probably the same way. And that that's just not something that I've just been in love with. But but I, I do see the technical uh, challenge to it. I'm like, wow. Um, and Emily says uh, concerning her smaller, uh -huh. her uh, shawl, maybe it'll block bigger. Oh, and she said it wasn't mine. Whew, dodged a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Jake says... I tried knitting, but I'm but I'm terrible at it. That's fine. I, again, I'm not pushing it um, at all. When I tried the first few times, I was terrible at it too. Part of the problem, though, was the yarn that I was using was meh, and the tools that I was using were awful. So you know, having a good set of of circular knitting needles, I prefer wooden ones that they just feel good and they just work better. I, this is a new set that I hadn't used before, but with the metal tip, that's actually pretty nice too. I don't like all metal because I think the, the yarn slides off of it too much for me, but I like the, the, um, these are actually pretty good. These are knit, yes. Knitter's Pride and I got them in a, I got them for like five bucks and, um. Jora says it took two, two months to learn, but she's getting the hang of it. Well, who's that? Doralis. Dolores? Yeah. It took two months to get the hang of it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm still getting the hang of it, to be honest with you, but um, but I'm enjoying it. I, I just, I think I like having the mystery unraveled, uh, no pun intended, for me, just understanding it better. Um, <clears throat> Jacqueline says, they discontinued the colors. I was in Michael's this weekend, and yes, they have changed the color waves for It's a Wrap yarn. Yeah, but they do have the It's a Wrap yarn. This this yarn actually is, is pretty good. It's a 50-50 blend, which is not not as nice as this this is this yarn was completely discontinued but this was 100 percent cotton I, I just prefer it personally just for the breathability yeah i know cottons are great yeah it's just it's just better for me um so um hmm, i've covered everything on my list today but if you guys have any questions hannah hasn't sent me any um but if you would like to help me again with the video on on how do I store my yarn properly. If you wanna send me some questions on that, I will try to include as many. I may have to you know, combine you know, some of the questions because I'm sure a lot of you have the same sort of question. And I am really excited about this one. I, I know this person that I hope to get to interview is an expert. Let me see, what's that? Roxana. Roxana. Says, yeah. Okay. Do you want to read that one? Which one is? Um, okay. Can you read that? It's real I tiny. Learned, I learned to knit years ago. Loved it, but I was taught the crocheting basis of by my grandmother five years ago. Now I find myself crocheting more than knitting. Nice to meet you, Esther. Oh. Well, that that that's great, Roxana. Um. Father Freaky Geek is in the house. Yeah. The thing Chat, is, as I said. Yeah, I'm actually knitting, um, knitting a sweater, actually knitting two sweaters, but boy is it slow because <laughs> <laughs> I because when I'm I'm knitting, I'm I'm still on a learning curve because I have never completed my first sweater. So I'm in process, I have two sweaters. Don't ask me why. Um, that I'm working on now and hoping to finish soon. I, I'm enjoying it to a point, but it does take a lot more concentration for me than crochet. Um, like I've said before, crochet for me is like breathing. Um, knitting takes more more of a focus for me. Um, let's see. Oh, we have Freaky Geek in the chat. Hey, Freaky Geek. I haven't said hey to you yet. Um, she says, I, I hope by store yarn, store your wool, you don't mean just give it to the local <laughs> yarn shop <laughs> no 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 no. i mean when you bring me the yarn home i mean we're going to talk about all kinds i hope how to store you know do you have to do anything special to acrylic yarn yes no we're going to talk about that what about these these natural fibers do you have to do anything special where should i put them you know should i put them in in air airlock bags ziploc bags what should i do I will answer all those, but not now, <laughs> because I'm going to go straight to the expert and figure this one out. We're going to work on it, and um, she knows what to do. This lady that I'm thinking of used to own a yarn store, and she also, well, I'm not going to say any more about it, because it's not 100% yet, but it's about 95%, so I am going to 
do some persuasion on that extra 5% yes. to make sure we get her to help out if I can. Um, and Sher Sherry says, I love crocheting, but I also love knitting. The only thing that I do knit is socks. Well, that is really cool, Sherry. Um, my, my, my daughter, Becky, that's one of the few things that she's actually knit. She's knit a scarf, which she gave to her husband, and she has knit socks, and that's about it. But she used one of these square loom, these rectangular loom things, and did a spectacular job on it. Uh, it, it was interesting. Okay, uh, let me let me look at this one. You have the message. Too. Yeah, Hannah's sending me. I need to get that app open. Okay. Uh, Jake Parker would like to know if. Do you think circular needles needles are better than two needles with stoppers on the end for knitting? For me personally, absolutely. It it is a difference. It's like saying, for me, it's like, uh, you know, it's like picking what pair of shoes do I want to. If I'm going to be walking a long time, you know, you know how you kind of think about what shoes you're. I don't know why I'm talking about shoes, but <laughs> you think, you know. What do I want to put on my feet to be the most comfortable? And you know, you know what I'm talking about. You, um, you're not going to wear if you're a woman. You're not going to wear your high heels. Obviously, you're going to put on your best pair of sneakers, Skechers, or something that's really nice on your feet. Um, and I, I think of the knitting needles using the circular, a nice pair of wooden circular knitting needles. Um, for me, it's like it's all about the comfort. It's about the joy in the journey. And um, that does make it for me. Um, yeah, I, I actually I actually used a pair of longer knitting needles on that hat video. And uh, I was just reminded, I just didn't, didn't like them as much. Definitely. I should have probably just used a smaller a pair of um, circulars, but I, I didn't. I followed the directions to the T. And um, I think even my gauge was even affected a little bit by it. But um, I, I would... I think it that would make a difference. I would at least give it a shot before, you know, totally giving up on the knitting. If you, if someone has a pair that you could borrow, I mean, you wouldn't want to invest a lot of money in them. Um, but once I realized I am going to do this a lot more than I ever thought I would, I invested in actually two sets of needles. Uh, I had a really pretty darker set, but since I'm recording more with them, I decided to get another lighter set so that they're easier to see against the black backdrop. And I think they're, you, you can get those, they're between 40 and $60 for a set and they come in a case, but you have like many different sizes and they're interchangeable. So you really have just about everything you need unless you go for the really super big ones. So, but you don't have to even worry with that. You know, I would just, you know, get a pair, the pair that I, that I found that I gave Esther today, this was um, on sale, but it was like $6 for these. Um, you know, every so often you can find them. I, I will say one thing that you should never do. There is a brand. It's a Michaels brand. I got some. I think I showed this in a video, one of the knitting videos. I got them in the the clearance bin, and I, I should have left them in the clearance bin. Every time the yarn went over the connecting point, it, it tore my yarn every single time, oh every single <laughs> stitch. That's not good. And I was like, Michaels, this is unacceptable. These should have been thrown in the trash, not into the, anyway, into the, um, into the clearance bin. So be careful when you go those clearance things, be careful what you, you know, if you see, obviously if you see a really cool Susan Bates hook, pick it up. But if you see a pair of really cheap, um, aluminum knitting circular knitting needles just 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 pass on them just pass tell them bonnie said don't get those <laughs> get the wooden ones because they're so much better um yeah boy i think i i didn't mean to throw them under the bus quite so severely but but anyway um and wanda says oh bonnie i wanted to tell you i am in the middle of designing a crochet hook case my first design Wanda, I want to see this. Um, Good job. Uh, yeah, let us know. Um, send me a picture. I'll put it up on my page. If you need some help getting word out, let me know. Let me. I want to see this thing. That would be great. I've tried designing some of those, but they always tend to be just a little on the bulky side for me. And then I picked one up at this um, fiber festival that I love. I absolutely love. I will never. 
I will never get another one until this one breaks. But it's so wonderful. Excuse me. I I don't have a need for another one, but but I want to see your design. I really, really, really want to see your design. Uh, da, da, da. And let's see. I, I'm just making sure there's nothing else going on here. Oh, Lynn says she's working on the Orlaith robe sweater, working now on the right front panel, really enjoying myself. Oh, I hope that works out for you, Lynn. Um, that can be a tricky one. Uh, yeah, Jane says, uh, okay, what are we talking about? Okay, Freaky Geek says, talking about what hook to use for a particular yarn. I think that's what you guys are talking about. Um, okay, let, let me just say a word about that. I, I've said this in the past. Uh, oh, by the way, this is a number one. Oh. They have this listed as a number one. I would never put that as a number one. That's at least a two. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> um, boy, I am so opinionated. <laughs> um, talking about the yarn, guys, let me just mention, when you see yarn and you see the recommended hook sizes, uh, don't feel like you have to obey the yarn label. I just want to say that now. As a, in, in, in general, these numbers, when they put the millimeter, for example, for knitting, they have, oh, well, this is a little different here. They have 3.75 millimeter, which would be the equivalent of a size F um, in crocheting. Um, but then, then they have, I think somebody smarter at Red Heart here, then they said uh, for a single cro for a crochet hook, they recommend a four millimeter or a G, which is actually a good size. But interesting, I I used both the three point seven five and the four point zero. So so this this label is actually very helpful. Um, sometimes, however, depending on the yarn manufacturer and and just depending on who their primary clients are, if if a yarn manufacturer, especially the wool people. Uh, wool companies, if the main people they sell to are knitters, their primary thing is this is the you know the the cir circumference okay I'm having trouble with words circumference of the knitting needle. And so what they'll do oftentimes is just put the equivalent of that for whatever the same circumference is of a crochet hook and say just use this hook or this needle, but they're really not equivalent if you know what I mean. So a lot of times I will bump my crochet hook up at least one size to get the kind of fabric, crochet fabric that I like. Um, just wanted to throw that out there. And, and don't ever feel um, like you have to, you know, like you mm -hmm. have to, to to obey the yarn label. You can do whatever you want. And and I generally go up a size. But but actually this, this, this yarn label, I, I say, good job, guys, whoever did this. Yeah, you actually gave the crocheters the thought. But again, Red Heart does a lot of business with crocheters. They probably, that's what we're probably their primary, yeah. primary, you know, uh, people they sell to, or at least 50-50 at, at, at the least. I mean, I've seen I mean, some knit that, like yeah. that brand before, so. Yeah, yeah. They, they may start with that, but, but a lot of knitters are, you know, I mean, I, I just think crocheters are probably the dominant buyers of red heart which is probably why they they're 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 smart on that so good job red heart yeah um, but just again be careful on that i did see another another comment um deborah says she's working on the true and it just jumped it just jumped okay deborah ah somebody was deborah was talking okay here we go working on the tree of life afghan using your instructional videos along with the written pattern she said, I would have been lost without the videos. Thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure, Deborah. If you guys are ever looking for a challenge and you want to learn how to read a chart line by line, the Tree of Life is for you. It is a free pattern courtesy of uh, Lion Brand. I did not design that. I was I'm only the teacher on this one, but it was a lot of fun for me to do somebody else's work. I mean, it was just, and they don't have the name of the person who did that. The original... The original throw was a knitted throw by uh, Nick, Nikki, I can't remember her last name, but um, a very prominent uh, knit designer. Uh, but anyway, 
Um, let me just make sure there aren't any other questions. Lauren says, I up my hook size one millimeter on the band recommendation for extra drape. Yeah, that, that's really, that's smart, Lauren. I do the same thing for the same reason because I don't want super tight. Uh, you know, I don't, want, I don't want super tight, stiff um, fabric, especially if it's, if it works for anything, for anything I wear like this, I don't want this to be stiff. And, and certainly uh, if I'm wearing something drapey. Um, now, the only time that you might want a little bit of stiffness and, and the cotton will do it for you, is if, if you're making a bag. I mean, you want some flexibility, obviously, but um, but it's okay if this is just a little tad bit stiffer than, than a piece of clothing. Oh, thank you, Suzanne, about, about purchasing the books and um, liking the videos. Thank you so much for your kind words there. Um, she says, I'm learning so much, but not as, not, with as much frustration as I would be experiencing without videos. Yeah, uh, I, I'm also a visual learner, which is why I, I do things a lot slower than some people. I don't, as, I try not to assume anything. Um, and that's why I know I, people have even commented that, uh, that maybe I should speed it up a bit and I don't have to be so deliberate on the basic stitches uh, on some intermediate videos, but but I do know that a lot of confident beginners try these videos and because I encourage confident beginners to step out and get a little messy, make mistakes, and learn something new. So I do kind of take them a bit on the slower side, so I apologize for that. But if you watch the videos on the YouTube platform, there is a, there is a little gear-shaped thing where you can speed me up and have a ball with that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Or slow it down, whatever you guys want to do, like yeah. whoever watches the video. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me, I'm going to be finishing up. It is one o'clock already. Wow. Uh, let me just make sure there's nothing. Book, um, something just. Yeah. Jan on. says, I don't like Michael's loops and thread crochet hooks. Yeah. That's what it was. They snagged the hooks. The hooks are very rough. Yeah. That, that's too bad, you know. Um, the thing about that too, that's why I encourage people to spend a couple more dollars. I mean, in our culture, in America at least, people don't give a thought to spending five dollars and up on one hot beverage. Um, I'm not a coffee drinker, so I guess I spend mine on yarn instead. But and there's nothing wrong with I doing that. Off. But it's just, but I'm just just pointing out that, and I'm not judging any of you all. I mean, I. I have my things I, I go for and, and some people might raise their eyebrows about it and I'm like, back off. <laughs> I don't drink this. I'm going to do it with this. But um, but anyway, all that to say is is don't cheap out when it comes to equipment. If, if you want to try picking up knitting, get start with something good. Don't start with the cheapest they have at the store and expect it to be good. Um, and when it comes to making something nice that you want to wear that you want to wear repeatedly, um, maybe check out some nicer yarn every now and then, you know? Someone right? asked me, must be like heaven sitting next to Bonnie. What's that? <laughs> Someone asked me about, it must be not like heaven sitting next oh. to you. <laughs> uh, you learned the good, the bad, the ugly though, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Unless, yeah, unless you're sitting next to Jesus, I think you generally, yeah, <laughs> things just go dumb. Anyway, um, yeah, it, learn, yeah, we learn the good, the bad. We learn how, how you might have learned how I'm not real crazy about some of the Washingtonian drivers around yeah. here on the Beltway <laughs> I'm like yesterday. The... Um, didn't yeah. call them any nasty names nope. or anything. I won't promise that it didn't go through my mind, but, um, <laughs> But yeah, you get a little frustrated sometimes. Um, yeah. It's just like New Jersey. Some people are not yep. the best, but yep. can't say yep. anything else. I like the old saying, you know, being a Christian, you know, it's like, we're not perfect, but we are forgiven. Yes, that's, that's, that's what I, true. I stake my claim there. I'm not perfect, but forgiven by the grace of God, not by my works. Thank you, Lord. Um, all right, well, I am going to go ahead and, whoop, wait, 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 wait. Okay, there's a lot of comments here. So you know what, guys? I think I'm going to have to, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and read you a verse today that 
actually I had two in mind, but I'm, I'm going to read this one since my, my, my Bible here. Wonder, I think I left it in the other room. Wonder Grunts is all finest groupies. <laughs> That's a good word. Um, oh, crochet o'clock is in the chat. I'm just seeing you now. Hey, Stephanie, Hi, how Stephanie. is it going? <clears throat> I, I wish we could all get together, man. We just need to do it. Um, let's see. Let's see. Frida, I just want to read some comments. Today. I think, okay, I just, okay, so. Frida has a good question. She she wants to try to be as economic as she can, but still make things pretty. How much does the size of a hook affect how much yarn is used? Um, actually, a lot, Frida. And oftentimes, you you want to fit your hook size, kind of like buying shoes. You know, you want you want shoes that fit, and you want a hook that will fit the yarn you're using. If you're brand new to this uh, fiber craft, I would say you can start with the size I or J crochet hook, which would be 5.50 millimeters or 6.0 millimeters. Um, I say the millimeters because a lot of you may be in a, in a country that doesn't use the alphabetical names like we do here, but the millimeters will be this, you know, the same. Um, and if you use that with a number four yarn, which is commonly what they carry, let's say at the big box craft stores like Michael's, Joann's and places like that, Hobby Lobby, um, Red Heart Super Saver, you, know, you can start off with something like that. I would suggest, you know, you can, you can do fine in crocheting with cheap yarn. It doesn't really matter, especially if you're starting out. But I think having a very good hook does make a difference. And I would encourage you to find an inline hook if you've never ever tried it. Some of you may like the boy hooks or you could even buy one of each and, and see which works best for you. That's what I would recommend. Um, the hook that I like the best cost about $2.99. Uh, if you can find them, they're the Susan Bates Soft with the nice handle. Do I have one to show you here? Um, this one? Oh, I know. Could, oh, this could, you, could you get that for me? Yeah. Yeah, if you don't mind, Esther, thank you. It's nice having an extra pair of legs here. Um, so, and, and you could even try one of the boy hooks. And, and and those you can get for, you know, again, under probably $2 or less in a lot of places. And again, take your coupons. I mean, this is smaller, but it's uh, yeah. a nice soft Yeah, this is, this is a much smaller than what I just mentioned. But the softs have this black, this black handle, which, which really, I, I just like the way it feels. Um, there are many other more expensive hooks out there. You could also try, but if you're, again, if you're trying to be economical about it, and yes, if you use the smaller hook, you're going to, you're really not going to use less yarn per se, because you're going to have to do a lot more stitches to get the same amount of fabric. So it's kind of a trade-off. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of a trade-off. So I hope that's helpful. And if you have more questions, you can always just contact me at my email, bonniebay at me.com. And let me go ahead. I think we're going to close it down. Is there anything else you wanted no, to say? No, No, you're good? Yep. Okay. Well, I wanted to read a proverb. Esther and I were actually talking about this this morning um, at breakfast. And she said that would be a good verse to mention today. So this comes from Proverbs 28, verse 1. And it's pretty profound. And it's just a good, it's just, it's just a good reminder. And this, I'll just go ahead and read the verse. It's, the wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Let me read that again. I love this. The wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. So I hope that encourages you today. And I hope you guys have a fabulous week. And again, check in um, with my my community page or, or on Facebook, I will post on the community page what my plans are for next week. Not sure if I'm going to be broadcasting next week or not. I will try to do something, but um, if not, just, just stay tuned and I will inform you guys. If you're subscribers already, and if you hit that little notification bell, you will get a notification when I post in the com on the community page just to let you know what my plans are. Okay, again, so much thank you for your support, and we will see you next week. Bye, guys. Hopefully.
Bye-bye. God bless. Bye.